Hi, my name is Yannick. I'm today here with Dr. Gwen, first ever user of Sharkscrew in the United States of America, a real Sharkscrew hero. Today we will talk about what is Sharkscrew and how it can improve patient's life. Hi, Dr. Gwen. Welcome to Austria. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Hi, Yannick. Hi, pleasure. Gwen. So, um, shark screw is something that I have always been kind of looking for in my arsenal of uh, surgeries. And as far as it comes to surgical fixation, I found that shark screws tend to be the most organic and the most natural because shark screw is made of, of allograft bone, which derived from a donated femur or any other parts of the bones that are as organic as possible. And it's very safe for the patient to use and extremely reliable. So as you said, shark screw is made of donor material. So what bone exactly shark screw is made of? So typically shark screw can be obtained from femur bone or tibial bone, those large bone that are very large in size of cortical bone that we use. Then cortical bones are typically the, the hardest type of bone that we have in the body. And we like to be able to utilize that type of strength and um, uh, stability in our, in our surgeries. Did you have any safety concerns before the first case? You know, when, when, I, when I talk to uh, Shark Screws and uh, Surge Pride Company and go over the regulations and the way that they uh, treat and um, protocols involve in selecting the, the appropriate Shark Screws that will be available for the surgeons and they are very, very safe because we make sure that there is no disease transmitting and then also that uh, we have gone through a rigorous testing to ensure that we have the appropriate um, uh, screws that are available and not many defects that uh, you know we don't want to be able to use it on the patients. Yeah. So shark screw is like the first screw made out of human cortical bone. How this type of screw differs from like metal screws or common bioabsorbable blades and screws which are available on the market right now? So Regular metal screws, they tend to be inorganic, right? So when they are in your body, they are creating stability, but also inhibiting, um, encouraging blood flow across the bone where the metal barrier is currently at. With shark screw, it's a little bit different because it's actually true cortical bones that has haversion have canals inside that encourage blood flow to go through the bone itself. And over a period of one to two years you can potentially see good bone consolidation and almost no existing evidence of previous fixation at all when you have shark screws on the inside um, and i think that's one of the biggest benefit too for the patient is that you don't have to deal with removal or hardware down the road because there's nothing for us to remove at that point that sounds amazing and where you can utilize shark screw to treat your patient yeah, so we've been using a lot of shark screw to treat a patient and particularly in high risk cases where the patient has no uh, good blood flow down to the bone and they're in some cases with high trauma patients who have very high intensity energy um, trauma to the bone and a lot of the times the blood flow tend to be disrupted and so with shark screw it does encourage more flow and also incorporation in the area. Um, and I think it, it does give us surgeons another better alternative options versus then to, um, going in and having a ton of metals on the inside which are inorganic to begin with um, and uh, also decreasing the risk of uh, healing. So can you also use shark screw to treat the bunion or like a hammer toe? It's also possible? Absolutely. So in bunions and hammer toes, uh, we do typical bone cut that would allow us to heal uh, in various different ways such as fracture healing and I think with shark screws which is perfect for fixation in uh, type of bunions uh, with a traditional bone cut will encourage better healing and um, bone on bone consolidations much faster. Um, the other uh, uh, procedure that you mentioned is the hammer toes which typically you can be done with a, either a fusion or uh, simply an arthroplasty. And I think with a fusion involving uh, shark screws is create stability is number one that we're looking for. And number two is a better rate of um, 
fusion. So you have seen a lot of non-unions in, in your life before, so can shark sprue also be used to treat non-unions? And what are the benefits of shark sprue when it comes to non-union? So, so as the surgeons, we do encounter a lot of non-unions. They do happen. Um, and when we do encounter non-unions, typically we kind of approaching it a little bit more different, a bit more aggressive, and to ensure that the patient uh, will eventually achieve fusion. So in a, in a typical non-union case, we, we identify the, um, the, the mechanical disadvantage, we resect a non-union, and then we are utilizing and maximizing the chance of healing across. So by incorporating shark screw into a non-union case, it does increase your chance of um, fusion across the, uh, the non-union site. That sounds amazing. And what is your personal experience after your first couple of cases you did with shark screw so far? What is your experience? So, so my experience with shark screw from the beginning was uh, quite simple. Uh, we like simplicity in, in the OR. We don't like to overcomplicate things. And, and the usage of the materials are extremely straightforward. Okay, The instrumentations are very easy to use. Um, their stepwise approach, reproducible, um, and certainly uh, e much easier to use than um, traditional screws. All right, so thanks, Dr. Kwan, of course, for your time and meeting us in Austria today and for sharing your expertise on shark screw. Of course, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it.